We paid a lot of attention to what our kids' dreams were. Entertainment was the thing that they loved and singing. And so we focused on making sure that they had dance lessons and vocal lessons and things that they needed and they wanted to do. Whatever my kids wanted, I wanted to be the dad that supported their dream and supported their passion. I grew up in Gaston, Alabama. You know, I was born in 1952. Small industrial town. I grew up in segregation. My mother uh, went to high school with Coretta King being one of the first African-American at Litchfield Junior High, having state troopers take me to school every day, having parents outside with signs and saying very negative things about a young kid. You know, I always had a dream for myself. I had always given myself 20 years in corporate America. I wanted to be in the music industry. It was happening at the same time that my oldest daughter, Beyonce, had a dream that she wanted to be in the music industry. Our family comes from a very diverse background, and I use our family as an example that we came from an environment that was not the best economically, but we came from an environment where family was important and a lot of love. To be where we are today truly reflects America and the opportunities that exist in America. Our kids, Beyonce and Solange and Kelly, they saw their parents work extremely hard every day. So I think those work ethics is what really drives them today. I tell young people, never give up on your dreams. It won't happen the first time. You know, even Destiny's Child, you know, they got dropped by a major record label before they got signed. I just think that one of the things we always have to remember that it's not going to be perfection. And I think that if we realize that and we work towards a common goal, inside of negativity often is an opportunity. That's the great thing about change and as we discuss change in America. I'm Matthew Knowles and this is my American story.